بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى creation is vast and beautiful and this is from his mercy and his نعمة these are the مخلوقات of الله سبحانه وتعالى الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتاب الكريم ومن آياته الليل والنهار والشمس والقمر لا تشهد للشمس ولا للقمر وشهد لله الذي خلقهن إن كنتم يا تعبرون الله سبحانه وتعالى says ومن آياته الليل والنهار from his signs is the day and the night the sun and the moon don't prostrate to the sun nor to the moon prostrate to the one who created them if it is him you truly worship so if you direct your worship only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and void shirk this is following the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is the ghaya of the creation this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you for qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem wa ma khalaqtu al-jinna wal ins illa li ya'budun I've not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَعَبُدُ اللَّهِ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِي شَيْنٍ Worship Allah and do not associate any partners with Him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of this seems very rudimentary and very elementary. Every Muslim should know this. Every Muslim should practice this. وَاللَّهُ مُسْتَعَانٍ But if you travel around the Muslim world, you'll find, and even here in the West, many of our brothers and sisters, do not practice that. Meaning that they worship other than Allah. They say it's okay to supplicate other than Allah. They say this is just we're showing appreciation or we're showing respect to the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam because he will intercede for us. So they supplicate to him. And they say, Oh Nabi Allah, please give my wife a child. Oh Nabi Allah, please rectify my condition. Oh Nabi Allah, please increase my risk. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayk wa ayyadhim billah min thalika That's shirk. That's shirk sariha. There's no question and doubt that that is shirk. Because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A dua huwa ibadah. Supplication is worship. When we supplicate, it is worship. And that's in Sahih Tirmidhi. And some of our brothers and sisters are tested with that. They go to less than the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they go to, for example, the... Uh, uh, the saints, they say, Sayyid Bedouin, or Sayyid so-and-so, Sayyid so-and-so, Sayyid Fatima. They uh, pray, they supplicate, direct their worship to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Regardless of whether it was a righteous person or a person that was wicked, all of it is shirk. Regardless if it was the angel, regardless, regardless of whether it was one of the Sadaheen, all of it is shirk. What's the difference then if you say you supplicate to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and you say ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad rasulullah and at the same time you condemn those who worship Jesus who say Jesus is the son of God What's the difference you supplicate they supplicate to Jesus you supplicate to Muhammad alayhi afdal salatu wassalam Both of it is muharram both of it is shirk both of it if you die upon it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says إن الله لا يغفر أن يشرك به ويغفر ما دون ذلك لمن يشاء. Verily, Allah does not forgive that you associate partners with Him, but He forgives other than that for whomsoever He pleases. Meaning, Allah subhanahu wa taala does not forgive shirk. He does not forgive that you associate partners with Him. Subhanahu wa taala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to protect us from shirk and protect the ummah from shirk and bless us to be unto heed. And bless us with a class with a bad Allah Sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.